<laughs> How do I manage my work-life balance? I think I'm not as answer is badly. But what is but I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Now my wife complains I sometimes I'm away from home too much. There are other times when I'm twiddling my thumbs and saying, am I doing the right thing or am I down in the weeds when I shouldn't be? It's not a question you can, you can answer easily. I would rather turn the question around the other way and, and ask some guidelines. If you're enjoying what you're doing and you feel it's adding value and your other half and your family are not grumbling, then you've probably not got it too wrong. I get moaned at on a daily basis about the fact that I always put business first. Um, that I never ever have time for myself and that I never have time with my family, you know, my friends. I'm constantly working. It is 24-7 for me, so I don't think I've worked that one out yet. It, it blends into, into one for me. You know, that's good and bad, but it, it works for me and my wife is accepting of it. I think it's, it's one of those things that you always look back on things and go, well, I could have done that slightly differently or I could have given that time. It's like, you know, you go away on holiday and you're on your phone. I, I don't have spare time, that's not a thing. <laughs> I think, you know, sometimes you just got to know when to switch off. Sometimes you got to know when to spend time with your family. You just got to go out and smell the flowers. If you don't do those things, um, you become less effective and less productive. I think being, a, being an entrepreneur, people think it's sexy. It's not. Actually, it's miserable. You know, I... I mean, I had the toughest time in the first year, I think. You know, I miss pretty much all my friends' birthdays. Work-life balance means that you have to um, take time out, which I've, I've been able to do as a, as a sort of jobbing contractor. But in the last five years, it's changed quite a lot. And with um, startups, you need to be out and working almost seven days a week until that day that you've broken even. I think you have to create a balance between, uh, between family and business. And uh, most probably when you're, you're going through this, uh, this exercise in this project, you are totally obsessed with it. Uh, but there are other people around, there are other people around you. Uh, you know, there's children, there's family and everything like that. And uh, you have to, in retrospect, you have to make sure that you keep all the plates, all the aspects of your life uh, in balance. Uh, you don't have much time to spend with your own family. Uh, you don't have much time to spend with your friends. And uh, you kind of become a little bit isolated. Uh, that is fine for uh, uh, a few years, but after a while, you do feel the need to uh, reconnect with uh, your your uh, lost friends and family. Uh, so uh, better late than uh, than ever. Work is really important. You know, work is so important. It's the third most important thing in your life, behind your health and your family. I'm known at work for being somebody who does my job in my conditioned hours and I'm really ruthless about not working stupid hours. And in fact, I can't do it. I can do 150 or 60 hour a week, but then I'm not effective anymore and I have to recharge. And so how I achieve that is partly by being good at prioritizing, partly by having grown a really good team around me. And it's one of the skills, again, I've learned is to get people and, and learn how to delegate to them. The speed of decision-making is so quick now if you're not responding within hours people think you're not on the grid so it is it takes over your life and there comes a point in which you can get overwhelmed by that it can become too much to cope with but so you have to be critical in your decision making I have a very understanding wife um, who didn't have much of a husband for some years um, my son didn't get a choice in not having much of a dad for, for some years, and I don't look back on that with, with any kind of pride. Um, I honestly believe that, that a lot of that isn't from choice. You do have to put a lot of commitment into something to make it work. And there are times where you have to work weekends, evenings, and so on to make a success of something. But at the same time, you have to have a balance. You have to be able to say occasion, look, I've got to put a stop to this. I've got to spend time with people that matter, you know, the people that I care about. I see work as a part of life and I think for me it's really important that yeah, I, I see the whole of life as, as kind of integrated really and so rather than me turning up to work and then going home and then I have life, I think actually my life is richer because of the work that I do.